Yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So sorry Good to keep evening. you waiting. Yeah. So here we are for the discussion of project making competition. So let me just elaborate you the why we are meeting over here. So myself Chaitanya Jamdare from Atul Tutorials. We are here to discuss about the project making competition for Akhil Science Fair, which will be on 27th of Feb, 2022. Okay. So the main motive for us to meet over here is that how to approach for the project. Okay. So how should be a thinking process, how to execute it and how to present it. Okay. So first of all, there should be a topic that you are going to make project on. There should be a problem that you should be solving. So let me tell you my story. In my third year of engineering, there was a video that I had been seeing and watching that bomb diffusers. You, you might be knowing every police squad has a bomb defusing squad as well, which defuses yeah, so. bomb by going to a place, cutting a live wire, and they defuse bomb. But what happens if that particular wire, which has been cut, is a wrong wire? That will create an issue, right? If a wire which, which has been cut, which is a wrong wire, the bomb will go off and everyone in vicinity will be hurt, right? So, instead of that, what I thought was if there will be a bot, which will go to that particular place, which will cut a particular wire, even if it is a wrong wire, the bot, the bot which is cutting the wire, which will, which will get affected or which, which will get destroyed. So no human life is lost over there. So that was my main intention. Of, that was my thought process behind my project. Okay. So how to execute it? What material or what should be there in my project? I thought, of. okay. So the first thing that I thought of that it should be mobile. It should be able to move from one place to another. So there should be wheels. There should be some remote control device through which I should be able to control it. The second thing that I thought was there should be an arm over it using which I will be able to reach to that particular bomb. I should be able to view that particular bomb live in front of me. Okay. Then the third thing that I thought was, okay, I have reached to the bomb. I'm able to see it. Now I should be able to cut it. So I should be having a cutting device in front of it. So I compile what I need in my project. Then the, the next thing was how to execute it. Okay, fine. The first thing that I needed was to make my robot mobile, that it should be move, able to move from one place to another. Okay, fine. So there should be some motor, there should be some remote to control it. So I selected uh, some motors which were of high torque. Okay, why high, high torque? Because there will be an arm over that particular bot, which will be heavy. Okay, so that particular arm should be able to be withstanding that particular torque. Okay. Then next thing I decided what is whether it should be wired or whether it should be wireless. So I decided if it is wired, I should be having a kilometer long wire, but that will create an issue that if I'm giving a signal to my bot that will create a delay and till the time it reaches to the bot, it will create an havoc over there. Right. So instead of that, I decided that it should be a wireless bot. Okay. So that was my thought process about how it should be made mobile. It should be able to move from one place to another. Okay. The second thing was how I will be able to reach that particular bot. So it should be having an arm. So arm for a bot can be a variety of way. The degree of freedom that we give to that particular arm decides how long or how much distance can it go. So I made a arrangement where it can be having a two dimensional axis. So 
so i i'll be, i had a arm which was on two basic pulleys okay so one arm it was resting on this particular platform one arm will be taking that particular bot up second arm will be reaching that particular bomb and then there was a platform on which i was able to keep keep my tools so the first tool that i decided was okay i need to cut a wire so for cutting a wire the first thing that the tool comes into my mind is a stripper wire a stripper cutter so i decided to keep a stripper cutter on that top then i should be able to watch which wire am i cutting so there was a webcam as well which i had been placing on that particular arm through which i was able to see where is the bot going at what level that arm is been reaching which wire am i cutting okay fine so now i started executing now just give me a minute i'll show you how that particular bot was made and how the arrangement was made okay just give me a minute okay so can you please help me out just give me a minute okay i'll show you under the right just just give me a minute yes okay okay so basically what i did was is i used to make making for us mobile i made a big on this this was the object okay so i made to be the free free moving when they don't have any work so they can be moving and i put a i Just two motors, one to be free. Okay. okay. So what are they use? We'll talk about that later. Then the second thing that we did, just to show, we reached the bottom. Okay. Okay. So for that particular purpose, I had installed this particular two arms, which had two degree of moment. Okay. And the third thing that we discussed was which tool will be installed over it. So the tool installed was this particular stripper cutter, using which we will be cutting that particular wire for the bomb to be diffused. Okay. Now first I'll show you like how does it work, and then we'll discuss about how it was being made. Okay. So first of all, it should be mobile, so I should be able to carry it anywhere. So I should be able to move forward, backward. It should be able to turn. So first that particular process. Forward movement, backward movement, rotation. Left rotation. Just okay. So I'll I'll show you again the four degree of free freedom movement. The first one forward movement, backward movement, left turn, and right turn. So using this, you'll be able to reach anywhere where the bot is to be placed. The second thing that we discussed was how to reach that particular bomb. So for that particular purpose, we have an arm over here. Now, just have a look how that particular arm has been raised, through which we can reach that particular device. So your okay. camera is off. Uh, bro, check out Swaram. Uh, Swaram Moore is ID. Yes. Yes. Uh. Right. So I'll show you again. Yeah. 
Friends, have you watched this particular part? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let let me show you the arm movement again. Now just have a look. So this was the arm moment, and the third thing that we discussed was how to cut that particular wire. For that particular purpose, I had been installing this particular strip of cutter. Now I have been I have disconnected the motor for this particular strip of cutter. But as soon as it reaches the wire of the bomb, it cuts that particular wire. If the right wire has been cut, that's the success. But if a wrong wire has been cut, that particular bomb goes off. But there is only the harm of this particular bomb. No human has been engaged in that particular. Case. Okay. So now discussing about what. All things are needed over here. So first thing, we need a platform over which will be having four wheels. But to drive it, will be requiring two motors. Now, as you can see, the two wheels over here are free, freely flowing or freely rotating. But these two particular wheels are being motorized. Now, I have given a different connection for these two motors for left and right moment. So whenever this particular two motors are forward going, the bot will move forward. Whenever both the motors are reversed, it will go backward. But if I forward this motor and reverse this particular motor, it will be taking a left turn. And when I reverse this particular motor and forward this particular motor, it will take a right turn. So I hope that's clear with you. Okay. Next thing, I connected low RPM high torque motors for this particular arm. Due to which, what happens is this particular arm goes up and down slowly, through which we can have some precision. Just see. Have a look over here. Such a precision we get or we obtain while reaching that particular board. Similarly, second motor is being connected over here through which we can access the second dimension. And the third one is nothing but a motor will be placed over here to access this particular stripper cutter. As soon as we give a command, cut that particular wire, this particular stripper cutter will be initialized and this particular wire will be cut. Okay. So now, how much cost did I require for this particular motor? 150 each. Second motor, this is costing you 200. It's a higher RPM. Okay. Third motor, same cost 200 rupees. As you can see, this particular board is made up of wood, available anywhere free of cost. Okay. What is my main intention to tell you that is that this particular project can be made from scratch, from, can be made using scrap. Okay, totally. Some of the objects you need to buy, that's definite, but low cost projects can be made. Okay, but you should be first finding your purpose, why are you making the project and what you're going to make. Second thing, try to plan what are things you're going to implement in that particular project. Third thing, how to execute it, go step by step. First, the base. For example, if I take my project, I discussed about first base. I made the base, then I thought about the arms and the third thing I thought about was the two. Okay. So I would like to hear from you that have you wondered what all things are required in the surrounding? What are the problems that your friends, family are being facing due to which you will be requiring to make a project on that particular topic? Anyone? Have you thought about that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, okay. So Yes, hello everyone. So anyone with any problem that you have found on which you are going to make a project? Yes. Anyone? Okay, fire extinguishing. Okay. Very good. So same concept, right? Miss, you can use my bot and you can have a fire extinguishing equipment on the top. You can go, you can send your bot over there. You can raise that particular arm, reach the fire, and then you can execute your fire extinguishing, right? So that can be one of, one of the application of the bot that I have shown you right now. Yes or no? 
Anything else? Yes, anyone? Okay, hydro power plant, green building. So I I think everyone has an idea in their mind. Maybe there might be an issue that you might not be able to find. What should I start with, right? So what we can do is we can arrange one more session, live or on Zoom, whatever is convenient to you guys. And you can discuss your problems with me. You can discuss your project. You can discuss what all to be implemented, how to be implemented. I can help you in everything. So as you all know, our project competition was 27th of Feb, the last day of submitting your project or at least showing the demonstration of your project in class is 25th of Feb. So before that, your project should be ready. On 25th, you should be able to demonstrate in class. And then on 27th, you'll be going live in on the project exhibition. Okay, fine. So I hope, okay, green building, integration, approach in science and technology for the sustainable future. Okay, fine. So I'm, I have been getting some questions. Hydraulic lift using an, okay, using an under constructing building. Okay, fine, fine. So hydraulic lift, so you'll be requiring. Okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. Integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future. Okay, so sustainable future means what? It should be able to sustain on its own without damaging our mother, right? So the first thing that we can do is go green using solar panels at our home. So that can be one application, that can be one project that you can do. Second thing is uh, rainwater harvesting. Some of our friends have been discussing that with me. Okay, some of your friends are waiting in our waiting room. Okay. I'll land with them, don't worry about that. Okay. Then some of them have been discussing me with the hydropower plant, how to make, how to execute. So I have been explaining students about that as well. So whatever be your doubts, whatever may be your queries, we are here to discuss about the same, but make, make a point that it should be finished, finishing before 25th, today's 21st, you are having three days in your hand, right? So I hope to meet you to, tomorrow or day after tomorrow in your in classroom, I'll be available over here. So anyone, any doubt about how, yes, yes, she's online. Yes, yes. Okay, YouTube live chats. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just open that. Okay, so can you help me with? Okay, yeah. Yeah, right. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay, where has been? Yes, yes, yes. You are absolutely correct. We have been using that particular switch which inverts current. Okay. Uh, you can use normal motors, but what happens is that. Um, You can use normal motor, but they have low torque. So they will not be able to carry that particular arm's weight with itself. If you are just making a car, toy car, normal motors are enough. But if you're making something that is gonna do a heavy task, you need to have some high torque motors, which are quite expensive, uh, like 200 to 250 rupees per motor. So you can use that. Uh, extend the arm length. Okay, we can do that, but it will cost you another effort to do that. Okay. Servo motor, yes, you can use servo motor as well. Servo motors you can use for the tools that you're gonna control. Like I use normal motors to cut, control my steeper cutter, but you can use servo motor as well. But make sure that servo motor is of high torque argument. Why always high torque? Because that particular instruments are heavy, which requires more force for execution. So high torque motors are used for that particular purpose. Okay, then tank control. Yes, okay, fine. Okay, any other questions, anyone? You can put your questions in chat box as well. You can ask me unmuting yourself. The permission has been given. Anyone, any doubt? Okay, Arya has been saying about hydroelectric power plant. Yes, that definitely can work. But the problem is that hydroelectric power plant requires force of water. Now, dam, as you know, it's a hydroelectric power plant through which water is been made to free fall. 
which falls on the turbine and then the electricity is generated but what happens when you make a small model that particular void water is not being attaining that particular height this potential energy stored for that particular water is not that much required which we required to turn the turbine so in that case what you can do is you can take syringes which can create that particular pressure of water and that can be made to rotate the turbine and then the electricity can be generated now you you will you will be uh, you may be thinking that how to get a hold on a turbine right now your normal motor if i connect a wire to it and if i connect a battery to it that particular motor starts rotating but the same motor if i connect it to a bulb and if i rotate the shaft using my hand that particular motor acts as a turbine or a generator which can now blow the wind so the same motor can act as a motor which runs on a power and same motor can act as a generator as well which can now drive my electric equipment okay so make sure you have understood that yes okay. and the further yes you are better you are not a for even so now i'm audible uh just a minute yeah now now ask your question so actually model, uh, the pressure is not created to rotate right. the whole turbine so is exactly. it okay if we uh, for uh, if we drop some water by help of bottles and all definitely that that's the reason i have said you can use syringes to create that particular pressure on water which can rotate the turbine definitely because here we are preparing a model to just demonstrate not to actually execute just to demonstrate how does a hydroelectric power plant work now as we already know hydroelectric power plant requires a water at a height which can generates potential energy and that rotates the turbine in it right but here at a lower scale we don't have that particular height of water right which does not create the force so you can use syringes for creating that pressure that's not okay so thank you okay fine okay so you need okay adamay is asking me that arduino uno based fire fighting board yes definitely you can make one using arduino uno if you are comfortable with programming you can definitely use regarding the programming that you need to do on c c++ you can take my help i can make that particular arduino uno program for you don't worry about that anyone any anything that you need to discuss or will end the meeting today yes anyone basically this particular session was to demonstrate that what i thought how i executed and what i made okay so anyone any problem any doubt that we need to discuss if no. not then we we'll, yes okay there's one more okay no sir fine chale guys so we'll stop for now thank you so much for joining today we may conduct one more meeting to demonstrate another project of mine but uh, about that we'll discuss later and we'll get a link for that afterwards okay so we have to make only working model yes you need to make working model because based upon that particular working model you need to make charts as well posters as well and at the time of exhibition exhibition you will be explaining everything using the live demonstration of your model as well as using charts so make sure you are making your project live model as well as posters for it okay anything else no sir okay fine if you have any doubt you can reach me any time everyone might be having my number or you can take it from whatsapp group okay and you can ask me any doubt any help required i'm always there so thank you everyone for joining today thank you sir thank you sir. thank you sir. Yes, thank you everyone bye bye good night bye sir good night Yes, bye bye. Thank you, sir.